Have you ever gazed at the night sky and wondered about the mysteries it holds? Our journey begins with the unveiling of the universe, a discovery that transcends our tiny blue planet and catapults us into the vast expanse of space. Until the early 20th century, our knowledge was confined to our solar system, a mere speck in the grand cosmic canvas. But all that changed with the advent of the Hubble Telescope, an instrument that would revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos. Named after the astronomer Edwin Hubble, this telescope acted as our eyes into the unknown. It was as if we had been stumbling around in a dark room and suddenly someone switched on a light. The Hubble Telescope allowed us to see galaxies far beyond our own, each one teeming with billions of stars. It showed us nebulae, the celestial nurseries where stars are born, and it revealed the existence of black holes, regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. These discoveries were not merely about accumulating facts. They shaped our perception of the universe and our place within it. We realized that our galaxy, the Milky Way, is not the center of the universe, but just one among billions. It was a humbling revelation, a reminder of our insignificance in the grand scheme of things. But it was also inspiring. It reminded us of the limitless potential for discovery, the countless mysteries waiting to be unraveled. It gave us a sense of perspective, a realization that our petty squabbles and daily struggles are but a speck in the cosmic ocean. It inspired us to reach for the stars, to strive for knowledge and understanding. So next time you look at the stars, remember there's a whole universe waiting to be discovered. What if I told you that you're made up of the same stuff as a banana? Sounds like a joke, right? But it's actually a scientific fact. Let's rewind to the mid 20th century. The year is 1953 and a revolution in the understanding of life is about to occur. Enter stage left, James Watson and Francis Crick. These two scientists, working in a laboratory in Cambridge, England, are about to make a discovery that would forever change our understanding of life itself. They were to unveil the structure of DNA, the very blueprint of life. But they didn't do it alone. Behind the scenes, a woman named Rosalind Franklin was conducting pioneering work in X-ray crystallography. Her photographs of DNA molecules were the missing pieces to the puzzle that Watson and Crick were trying to solve. Despite her crucial contribution, Franklin's role was largely overlooked at the time. But today, we acknowledge and celebrate her vital role in this groundbreaking discovery. The unveiling of DNA's double helix structure was like opening a book written in a language we had never seen before. It was the first time we could begin to understand the genetic instructions that make up all living organisms from the simplest bacteria to the most complex human. This discovery has had profound implications in numerous fields. In medicine, it has enabled us to diagnose and treat genetic diseases. In genetics, it has allowed us to map the human genome, leading to a better understanding of our evolution and ancestry. And in biotechnology, it has given us the tools to genetically modify organisms, leading to breakthroughs in agriculture, medicine, and more. So while it may sound funny to say we're made of the same stuff as a banana, it's actually a testament to the universality of life. DNA, the building block of life, is shared by all living organisms. We're all just different arrangements of the same basic ingredients. So in a way, we are all just complex bananas. And don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this fun fact. Have you ever wondered why things fall to the ground? Why we're not floating around like astronauts on Earth? Let's delve into a story that unfolds in the 17th century, a story that revolves around an apple and a man named Sir Isaac Newton. Yes, the tale of the apple falling from the tree, a seemingly simple occurrence that sparked a thought in the brilliant mind of Newton. This curiosity led to the birth of one of the most significant scientific theories of all time, the theory of gravity. Now let's rewind a bit and imagine the world before Newton's discovery. A world where people didn't understand why they remained firmly on the ground, or why the moon didn't just drift away into the vastness of space. It was a world filled with unanswered questions about the fundamental nature of our physical reality. Enter Isaac Newton, a man of great curiosity and intellect. The story goes that one day, while sitting under an apple tree, an apple fell and hit him on the head. 
This seemingly ordinary event sparked a question in Newton's mind. Why did the apple fall straight down and not go off to the side or upwards? This question led him to formulate the law of universal gravitation, a law that states that every particle of matter in the universe attracts every other particle with a force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. This discovery was monumental. Not only did it explain why apples fall from trees, but it also shed light on the movements of planets and the tides of the seas. It was a giant leap in our understanding of the physical world. Newton's theory of gravity was the invisible force that held the answers to the mysteries of the universe. It was a discovery that not only revolutionized science, but also our understanding of the world around us. So, the next time you drop something, don't be upset. It's just the universe following the rules. What if I told you that a single atom could power an entire city? This might sound like a line from a science fiction novel, but it's actually a reality we're living in. The discovery of nuclear energy has revolutionized the way we think about power and energy. Let's take a trip back in time to the early 20th century, where this story begins. The world was just starting to understand the mysteries of the atom, thanks largely to the work of two remarkable scientists, Marie Curie and Albert Einstein. Marie Curie, a name synonymous with groundbreaking research, dedicated her life to studying radioactivity. Her relentless pursuit of knowledge led to the discovery of polonium and radium, two radioactive elements that would later play a crucial role in the development of nuclear power. Meanwhile, Albert Einstein, a man who needs no introduction, gave us the famous equation EC2. This equation, in essence, tells us that mass can be converted into energy, and not just a little energy, a tremendous amount of it. This idea forms the bedrock of nuclear energy. Fast forward to today and nuclear energy has become a significant player in the global energy landscape. It's a powerhouse, pun intended, capable of generating massive amounts of electricity. Unlike fossil fuels, Nuclear power doesn't contribute to air pollution or global warming, making it a cleaner alternative. But like all good things, nuclear power has its drawbacks. The same atoms that can light up a city can also cause unimaginable destruction, as we've seen in the tragedies of Hiroshima, Nagasaki, and Chernobyl. The waste produced by nuclear power plants is highly radioactive and can remain dangerous for thousands of years. Managing this waste safely and responsibly is a significant challenge. Despite these concerns, nuclear energy remains an essential part of our energy mix. It's a testament to the power of scientific discovery and human ingenuity. So remember, with great power comes great responsibility, especially when it comes to the power of the atom. Have you ever wondered how we as humans came to be? The answer to this age-old question lies in the remarkable journey of Charles Darwin, a man whose curiosity led him to the discovery of a concept that would forever change our understanding of life, evolution. In the early 19th century, Darwin embarked on a five-year voyage aboard the HMS Beagle. He traveled the world, observing and cataloging the myriad of life forms, each unique and perfectly adapted to its environment. From the finches of the Galapagos Islands to the fossils of extinct creatures, he began to piece together a theory that challenged the prevailing belief of his time. Instead of each species being created as it is and remaining unchanged, Darwin proposed that life is not static but dynamic. He suggested that all species, including humans, evolved over time from common ancestors through a process he called natural selection. This means that organisms that are better adapted to their environment are more likely to survive and reproduce, passing on their advantageous traits to their offspring. This theory of evolution, published in his groundbreaking work on the origin of species, shook the scientific world. It not only explained the diversity of life on Earth, but also our place within it. We are not separate from nature, but an integral part of it, shaped by the same evolutionary forces that have sculpted every creature on our planet. Imagine, the diversity we see in nature, from the vivid colors of a butterfly's wings to the intricate patterns of a spider's web, is not just a spectacle of beauty, but a testament to billions of years of evolution. It's like a living, breathing history book, telling the story of life's journey on Earth. So, 
The beauty of life is not just in its variety, but in its evolution. And if you enjoyed discovering these great scientific discoveries with us, make sure to share this video with your friends.